nine skeleton here hopefully will force out a knight and maybe we can go for some tornado shenanigans can i go like this and get the berry on the tower yes sir yes sir one more shot berry one more shot beautiful beautiful what's up gamers it's turkey here and today we're going to be using one of the best counter decks in the meta and i actually came across this deck by accident well not by accident but <laughs> they kind of hate when people say that but i came across this deck because i just i just played against it i was playing one of the more popular beat down, beat down decks in the meta and i discovered this deck i'm gonna put it in the bottom left of my screen but the reason that this, this deck is so pow powerful right now is wow we got so much damage is because there's so much beat what the heck there's so much beat down in the meta there's like lava hound there's giant graveyard there's giant um phoenix night witch and this deck does amazing against all of those decks so we're gonna go like this here just to clean everything up and get our king tower activated and i've been using this deck i used it for like an hour on stream the other day and i love it it's good against giant it's good against lava hound and just any beat down and it has the best win condition in the game which is goblin drill so i'm gonna be using this deck um shout outs to whoever came up with it i actually don't know who came up with it but it's awesome it features giant skeleton and executioner which are two executioner is great against like beat down and swarm like lava hound and giant night witch um and then um giant skeleton is really hard for the dagger duchess to deal with so Anyways, we're in our first match here. Uh, slow start for my opponent. He's actually running Hog Rider, which is really bad in the meta right now. Like, Hog EQ used to be all over the place, and now it's struggling. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is going to be a pretty free win, honestly. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, my opponent is struggling to defend. We already have King Tower activated as well. I'm going to go like this and get a lineup on the Firecracker, hopefully. Like, look at how good that X is. It just one-shotted the Firecracker and then took care of the Valkyrie. Double Elixir is going to get even better for us as well because it'll be super easy to defend. I could poison that, but I think I'm just going to chill. Get ready for a potential Hog Rider. Yep, there it is. Okay, I actually need to do this just to get that, that all off the board. I didn't want that Firecracker to get, like, too much value. Another, another cool thing you can do with this deck is you can go for, like, lineups with the Evo Bomber or the, um, I meant to play guards there, with the Evo Bomber or the Executioner. And look, the Giant Skeleton Bomb is going to splash onto all of that. Okay, Executioner on defense here. And if he goes for a Hog Rider, he's going right into Barry. I'm going to put my foot down here and poison this because those Firecrackers were alive for far too long. Okay, not the cleanest defensive sequence there, but... Again, I'm, like, not very threatened by his deck at all. Okay, we're gonna go Goblin Drill. Barry here. We're gonna go like this as well. Could block with the Hog Rider, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Perfect. Making sure that that firecracker doesn't hit our tower is really important. Barry to clean everything up. And we're just a few poisons away at this point. So we're going to go to drill on the side here. You can even tornado like their tank away. But since he plays the cracker, I'm just going to go like this instead. Goblin drill is going to get on the tower. Because the dagger duchess is out of that daggers. We're going to tornado to finish it off. And that's a good first game. So we're going to go ahead and take the dub against this guy. We'll catch you in the next one. Get into our next matchup here against King. Something else that's super underrated is the tornado poison combo. Uh, tornado and poison is like really, really good at defending so many cards or any, like giant mobs of cards like Golem or, or things like that. And it kind of compensates for the lack of like group DPS that the Dagger Duchess has. Okay, so we might be going against that giant beatdown deck here. I don't know for sure, but it just kind of feels that way. So I'm just going to go like this. Cycle a giant skeleton and let it breathe. Whenever I see Little Prince Bomber, I'm just like, oh, it's that, it's that really. Yep, I was gonna say it's that giant skeleton deck, most likely. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. I was gonna say it should force out something. Okay, the giant comes down. This bomb is gonna splash onto all of this. Beautiful. Okay, so Night Witch is dead. That's huge because the bats are what give the Dagger Duchess such a big problem. We're going to go like this, get rid of that egg. And then that giant is going to walk towards the Tesla. 
And uh, even though he goes for the arrows, they don't kill the guards. That's why the guards are so good. Yeah, guards survive arrows. Even he said, wow. Okay. I'm going to just go for my bomber. Interesting he goes for that at the bridge. I know that we were down on Elixir, but he kind of just fed me. <laughs> so yeah, that was an interesting play. Uh, whatever he plays on this, we can maybe tornado back, even if it is like a phoenix or something. Yeah, we're going to do this. Beautiful. Beautiful plays. See, Xe just gets so much value. Such an underrated card. It kind of reminds me of a bowler. It's like these two hefty five elixir cards that like come in handy so much on defense. All right, so this deck that I'm playing against is the most popular deck in the game. It has the highest win rate. Um, if you were living under a rock, then maybe you've never seen this deck, but it is everywhere right now. And that's why um, this deck has emerged to be able to deal with this type of deck. Okay, we're gonna Executioner in the corner. <clears throat> in hindsight, I wish I would have executioner at first. Nice, and look, all of that stuff is gonna go into the bomb. <laughs> executioner here. Xe, gonna clean up pretty much everything here. We need a tornado like this because I don't want the berry to be splashing onto my tower. Nice, and look at that, we even got our King Tower activated, which is awesome. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna let that go and instead I'm gonna go like this. Nice, of course, out the arrows on defense, we're gonna go for an executioner. Yeah, and bro's laughing, but he's definitely crying on the inside. Trying skeleton here. And at some point, I can go for a poison. The reason I just haven't gone for a poison is because they have an elixir pump. And um, if you poison, they'll usually pump up. But I feel like I have enough of a damage advantage to be able to go for it. So I'm going to go like this, get another Executioner down. And then Evo Tesla low. He, we force out the Evo Zap on defense, which is awesome. And the Executioners are still going to get a shot. He had the arrows, but he missed the berry. And my boy is just delaying the inevitable at this point. And this deck actually it makes me really angry i made a video on it so i'm kind of contributing to the problem but it's just so good right now okay i don't know what he's doing i feel like that was a very much a desperation play by my opponent i'm gonna go like this so that doesn't hit my tower oops I made a little mistake i'm gonna do this take this poison it's a great poison triple elixir is rolling around and he hasn't been able to do anything. Man, man, misclick the pump too. Oof, tragedy strikes. We're gonna take the poison here. Tornado, everything back into the poison. And that's just a GG, so there, there you have it. We beat the deck with the highest win rate in the game without even breaking a sweat. So GG's to King, we'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against N2A. And that deck that we just played, and Lava Hound are the reason that you need you need to play this deck. I, I, I hate saying, because it's kind of a trope, that like this deck has no bad matchups, but genuinely this deck has very few bad matchups, it feels like. At least with what people are currently running. Okay, we're going to Poison on the pump here. Um, I cycled my Executioner. In hindsight, I should have just cycled my Guards or something, because Executioner is such a key card on defense that you really don't want to be cycling it in the manner that I just did, but that's okay. We're gonna go in with a Goblin Drill here. Neat one night shot. Looks like he's playing Pump Bow. I'm not sure though, but whenever I see the cards that this guy is running. Okay, yeah, he has a really quick cycle, so he is able to outcycle our poison. There's not a ton that we can do about that. Hmm. We're gonna just pressure here. I don't want that little prince DPSing down my giant skeleton completely. We're going to do this because I want the giant skeleton to get on the tower. Oh, I think I don't think that's going to do it. Oh, well, that was that was a risky play, I know, but I was trying to get the skelly bomb onto the tower. Okay. I was going to say, so he's definitely going to have an elixir advantage on us. It is what it is. Doing it for the fan. We're going to let, let that get a tiny lock and then just play a test of light. 
Okay, so it is Pumpo, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna poison this one. He's gonna outcycle our next poison, but at least we're getting chip on the tower that we wanna go into. And so the deficit isn't that hard. Honestly, surviving single elixir is the most important because Giant Skeleton is a really good answer to the expo. Like he's so tanky, it's really hard for him to break through. And he's gonna go for the outcycle. Okay, he goes like that. Like I said, Giant Skeleton, one of the best answers in the game. Beautiful. And we are in double elixir now, so that's a lot better. Something else you can do is you can tornado everything into the giant skeleton bomb. That's a really good play as well. We're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna probably poison as well. Yep, I was gonna say that he he was gonna predict that goblin placement, so that's why you go for the poison. Interesting uh, expo. We're gonna go like this to get chip on the tower as well. Beautiful, and just like that, it's gone. Look at that, Evo Berry putting in work. That log isn't gonna finish it off either. <laughs> My man is really trying to get rid of this berry. Yeah, he pumps up. Yeah, I'm gonna do this instead. Call me greedy. I think that was worth it. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And we opted to do that instead of poisoning the pump because we can defend, defend pumps really, really well with our giant skeleton. I'm gonna pressure while defending even. If he doesn't defend, he's gonna lose the game. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go like this with an XE. Yep, XE, gonna do a really, really good job clean, cleaning house here. Guards as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He might get a small lock. No, he's not going to. And now we're pretty much in... We're not pretty much. We're almost in range where we can start going for drill poison cycle. It's good poison. I'm going to go in for a drill here, force him to defend instead of going for another expo. Uh oh, you better do something about this. Xe. And that's going to be... Oh! Nope. I was going to say, it's almost going to be a good game. We forced out the little prince here. Expo is gone. And this deck actually is one of my least favorite decks to play against in general. So it feels good to actually have like a decent matchup on it. And that's a good game against Pump Bow. So if you struggle against Pump Bow, this might be the deck for you. So GG's to that guy. Uh, we kept our composure and a... Kind of a tight matchup. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against Pikachu. We have our Evo, Evo Barry. Well, it's not Evo yet, but Barry in the back is probably the best starting play that you can do with this deck just to kind of cycle to your other main cards. Okay, Firecracker comes down. We're going to do this to keep our Barry alive and minimize the damage from the Firecracker. And he actually spent a decent amount, so... Yeah, we're going to let it go. Okay, we're just going to cycle an XE way in the back. We'll find ourselves up a teeny bit of elixir. My guess is that it's Hog Rider, which, like I said, there's not a lot of hog in the meta. We're going to go like this. And one hog shot is not a problem. Executioner going to go to work here. He logged early because the Executioner was tanking for the Goblin Drill. And so we're going to get tons of damage on the tower. Look at that. We didn't even have to do anything crazy. I could activate King Tower here. Yeah, I'm going to do it, I think. Yeah, so we got the King Tower activation there. Definitely worth it, I think, for one hog shot. I'm going to go at the bridge just to pressure. Okay, and we're going to actually do this because we, I want to DP, DPS down that uh, Valkyrie such that he has to play another card. Nice. Okay, so Cannon comes down. XE lineup, maybe? Look at this. Look at XE. Uh, that's what I was going to say. You have to do something. Tornado these away. Beautiful. And because he's low on elixir, I'm going to go with these guards. Going to force out an additional response. Beautiful. Evil Valkyrie. And we forced it out in a way where he's like not using it to support a hog rider. So that's excellent. We're going to evil bury, or bury low. And Tesla like this. Pull everything in. And easy defense. 
So yeah, I would definitely want to recommend playing Hog in this meta. Uh, it's the, kind of the same thing with Log Bait. Like, it's just not good. We want it to be good, but it's just not good. You know what I mean? Poison onto the Evil Firecracker. Don't even think twice about it. It's so worth the negative one Elixir trade. He goes Valkyrie. We're going to Bridge Block, actually, because then if he goes for a Hog... Okay, he does it, but if he did go for a Hog, wouldn't be the best play. And he doesn't want to Hog into the Death Bomb either. Okay, he goes on that side. You can always go for Old Reliable here. I was going to say, you also can always do that on defense if you find yourself in a pinch. Evo Berry to support this. Splash onto everything. Yep, he played the Valkyrie. And uh, Barry gets a shot. I'm just going to go for a poison. I know it's not the card that I want to poison, but we're going to hit the cannon, and it's going to put us in the realm of one more poison taking the match. And at this point, I'm not really threatened by this man. I can just nato this to my king tower. And uh, one more one, one more poison is going to finish off the game. So I'm going to cycle to my poison. Good game against Pikachu. feel bad about the matchup. It's not a, not a good time to be a hog rider player, but we'll take the dub. We'll catch you in the next one. For our next match here against uh, Teo. Dagger Duchess. That's like the first thing you need to do is like when you queue into a match, you need to immediately be like, oh, like what tower trooper are they running and blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess you kind of had to do that before, but really you need to play completely different. He sees the Barry and he's already annoyed. <laughs> I feel you, dude. I feel you. I mean, I'm sick of running against Barry. I don't know how you guys feel, but Barry is in damn near every single deck. Wow, he just ate? What? Wow. He just saw the Barry and he gave up. That's crazy. All right, well, we'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against Fabi Fighter. Running the Dagger Duchess, and he's in an all-adults clan, so I respect this guy. We're going to just open up with a Goblin Throw here. I had never mind. My respect for him is gone. He just went for Golem first play without knowing my, my deck at all. Fortunately, this deck is pretty good against Golem, I have to say. So that's part of the reason why, why we're even running it in the first place. He's because Golem Beatdown is everywhere. Okay. Guards high, Tesla low. Just need to DPS down that Golem as best as we can. E-Drag is going to be problematic a little bit, but what we'll do is we'll tornado it over here towards the Tesla. And as you can see there, we take one E-Dragon shot, and we got significantly more drill damage. So this deck absolutely demolishes Golem. Like, it has so many answers for it. Executioner, Evo Berry, Tesla, Tornado, Poison, like all of those cards just absolutely destroy Golem. So if you don't like Golem or Golem players, uh, this is a really good deck. This deck is kind of made as a beatdown counter, but especially for Golem. Okay, so he just pumps up. We're going to drill on the side here because Giant Skeleton is going to tank for these initial shots. Nice. And then he goes for those those Barbarians, which do block the Skeleton. But look at the drill. The drill's getting on the tower, and that bomb is going to finish off those Barbarians. So, perfect. It's important to note that he will have evil, evil Barbarians in cycle next. So we're going to have to play around that. We'll see if he pops the ability here. He does. We're just going to go for guards up high. Finish it off, no problem. Okay, he goes for that. We're going to immediately Tesla. Just so we can get back to our second one. And our next one will be an Evolution Tesla. And I will play the Barry here just to DPS down the Bomber. And kind of maybe panic, force out another card. That's kind of what, what the goal is here. Is I want him to be like, oh shoot, I have to play another card. And he does. So mission accomplished, eh? We're going to pull this over. Beautiful. And the Tesla locked onto the E-Drag. That's like actually amazing. Executioner putting in work. I'm going to pressure here just so he doesn't spam us. I mean, he still might spam us, but... Now he has to defend a little bit. Maybe the evil barbs come out. Perfect. Evil barbs come out, so that's a, a no-hesitation poison on our end. He goes in for the battle healer, but look what we have. Executioner. Good nato. Good nato. I see the vision. Trying skeleton here. In order to go for that NATO, he pretty much ignored everything. So we're going to go in for a drill here and uh, perhaps clean up the rest of the game. Yeah, this guy played really weird. Typical Golem player. Just not really knowing what he's doing. So we had a really good matchup. We barely took any damage. But hey, a win's a win. So GG's to this guy. And we'll, we'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Into our match against the special play. We'll see if it's just a special play or if he's a special player. 
Okay, Evil Barry in the back always. Okay, definitely just a special player. Expo first play. Knight comes down reactively. Interesting. Executioner just to like absolutely take no damage. I didn't really need to play it, but I didn't want him getting any expo damage. Okay. Depending on what he plays, I could tornado it. I think I'm just going to let it go. It's still going to get a reasonable amount of pressure down. And we have our giant skeleton in cycle if he chooses to go for another expo. I'm going to go guards here just while she's charging up and kind of just cycle. Skeletons come down. And now that she's out of daggers, we're going to go in for a goblin drill here. If he plays a knight, we can go in with an Evo Berry. Nice. He wastes his Tesla. And one, the reason I say waste is because when you play Expo, you need Tesla to support your Expo. Like, it's a very important card for support. Giant Skeleton here hopefully will force out a knight. And maybe we can go for some Tornado shenanigans. Can I go like this? And get the Berry on the tower? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more shot, Berry. One more shot. Beautiful, beautiful. That was exactly what I wanted to do. And it forced out his evil berry. Like, probably in a way that he wouldn't want to use it. He'd probably want to use it on offense. So, so far, we're all over this guy. He's gotten to go for one expo and then not much else. Okay, he, we're going to go like this. And Tesla on the expo. And I don't think he can afford to def defend this anymore. Nice, okay, so he's going to get a small expo lock. I actually should have placed that Tesla one tower to the right because then it would have been out of the range of his Tesla. So in hindsight, let it be noted, that's what I would have done differently. We're going to slow roll Giant Skeleton. Giant Skeleton is so menacing for the Dagger Duchess. Any form of tank, as you know, is really hard to deal with. So we're going to go like that. And you'll see he's like awkwardly having to just cycle and kind of waste cards preemptively. Okay, Evil Knight comes down. Evil Barry's gonna like partially walk into that poison. Partially. There we go. Xe's gonna take care of the bomber as well. And that Evo Knight didn't do anything at all, so life is good. Drill gonna come down here. Could go for a poison. Yeah, I'm gonna poison now, because it's gonna hit the knight, it's gonna hit the Tesla, and it's gonna hit the Barry. We're gonna bomber. And then go for a giant skeleton. Barry doing his best. Barry doing, Barry doing what he does best. Tesla over on the side here to help DPS this down. Away from where he plays his Tesla. And then we're going to go for a goblin drill. Only because the dagger duchess is low on daggers. And we're going to go for a poison here. And we are one poison away from winning this game. So we're just going to try and cycle back. If we go for a giant skeleton, there's really no way that he breaks through. Giant skeleton such a good card. In this specific situation as well. Okay. Nato here. Just to DPS this down, giant skeleton bomb did a great job. And that's a good game. Good game to this expo player. Kind of a tough matchup for him, but I also think we played to our strength. So we're going to go ahead and take the dub against the special play. And we'll catch you in the next game. Okay, into our next match against Spartan. Aru. 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 Okay, so it gives, gives me the good luck. I'm going to wait and then possibly go in for a drill. This is the first guy all day that is running the Princess Tower instead of the um, uh, Dagger Duchess. Okay, goes for the Cracker. We're just going to do this. Okay, hear me out. He's really low on Elixir because he just spammed there. So we're going to try and get this XE on the tower. And we will. Evil Berry here. Ooh, good hog, actually. Kind of to save his tower. And we got way more damage than they did. So that's awesome. So hog. Still somewhat prevalent in the meta. Um, I don't think it's very good at top ladder or anything like that. But some people, they just really like, you know, you get comfortable with the win condition and you like to keep playing it. That's how I feel about log bait sometimes. Sometimes I just feel like sticking it out with log bait. Even when it's bad in the meta. We're going to giant skeleton here. We need to be careful about a, a firecracker lineup. Like if he goes for like a hog cracker. I'm actually just going to poison this. Um, if he goes for a hog, I can go for last second guards and it should full counter. We're going to drill. I like to mix up the drill placement sometimes. For those of you that don't know, the front of the tower is the best place to play the drill. Um, but mixing up the placements is also just important in general. Because you, you'd never want to be predictable. Because if you're playing it in the front every time, they're going to be ready for you. So guards plus dagger duchess full counter a hog. Barry here to maybe get some, some splash. 
Good job, Barry. Good job, Barry. Barry did his best there. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so good. <laughs> I thought about playing the Executioner to try and activate my King Tower, but I thought the Dagger Duchess would clean house. Needless to say, we're still in a very, very, very good spot. I haven't even had to play my Tesla. Like, how crazy is that? Like, in what world would you think, like, I'm playing against Hog Rider, like, and I, I didn't even have to use my Tesla. Like, that, you, you would never say that. I'm going to go for it preemptively, though. And I'm going to do this. Giant Skeleton. They're going to do his best. And he doesn't have Valkyrie and Cycle. Okay, he just goes for the preemptive Earthquake. I kind of, I respect that. Okay, we're going to take this Poison. If that Firecracker decides to actually do what it's supposed to do. Come on, actually, one more. Uh, Executioner thought about giving us one more shot. But now we're just two Poisons away. We are actually going to use our... Um, Blah, blah, blah. Tesla this time. He might go for a firecracker. We're going to strike back with a berry of our own. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Oh, never mind. Berry didn't hit the tower. But he panicked. He panicked. That's what mattered. And now we finally get to do the traditional hog rider defense, which is just the tornado. Perfect defense by him in the sense that he didn't take any damage. But with Evo Tesla in hand, the odds of him breaking through are slim to none. So now that we can just go like this. And the Evo Tesla will take care of the Firecracker. We can go for a drill, cycle through our poison, and that's going to be a good game against Hog Rider. Honestly, he actually played pretty well. Um, I wasn't really stressed. Um, like, I never really felt like I was going to lose that matchup, but he played as well as he could, considering it's a pretty tough matchup. So GG's to Spartan, and we'll see you in our next match. Into, likely, our last matchup of the game against Ant. And I, I love this deck. I've had so much fun with it. It's kind of like a happy medium between like a cycle deck and like a heavier deck i don't know if that makes sense i guess those kind of contradict each other but usually when you run goblin drill it's like goblin drill cycle with fire spirit poison log and this deck it's like you're running goblin drill but it's like a heftier deck like you have giant skeleton and you have executioner so it's just been a lot of fun that's all that i'm trying to say it's 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 like a hybrid deck and it's just nice to see something new and refreshing emerge in a meta that has been so repetitive it's just been nice Okay, he cycled to his berry. I respect that. I mean, it's, it's going to get him a lot of damage, so I think it was worth it. He is going to be low on Elixir net here, though. Okay, so he goes for his Tesla. Oh, I really wanted Executioner to lock on the tower, but alas, it did not. Mm, I'm going to play this. Tesla's out of ammunition. Maybe we can force out, like, a tank, and we can go for a berry lineup on it. Like, he might have to exit or er, Valkyrie last... Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I was talking about. Got a little, got a little line up there. I was hope, I was hoping to activate King Tower with Tornado. You can Tornado the first Goblin to activate your King Tower, but he placed the drill in a spot where that wasn't possible. So well played. We're gonna go in for a drill of our own. One of my favorite things to do, if you are up a teeny bit of elixir, is to go like drill Giant Skeleton because it'll pull troops back. Like if he had played a Valkyrie there, it would pull it back, um, and then the Giant Skeleton would maybe get on the tower. So that didn't happen, but that's okay. Giant Skeleton Bomb. So good. So good. Takes care of everything. Beautiful. We're going to see if he goes for a berry here. Now nah, he just takes the poison. That's a good poison. So we're up against maybe a more traditional um, Goblin Drill deck. So we need to prove that ours is superior. Poison goes down, so I feel, f I feel fine going for this berry. Oh, I might just poison here, because he's going to play a Valkyrie as well, probably. Oh, no, he just goes for that, but... Poisoning the Evil Berry is fine with me. We're going to preemptively guard. In this position, it's really good. It'll catch, like, pretty much whatever he plays. Like, wherever, wherever he plays the Goblin Drill, I should say. I just don't want that Valkyrie to hit my tower. He could go for an Evil Berry here. We're going to have the tornado ready in case he does. Okay, he doesn't. We're kind of just trading blows, to be completely honest. What if I go like this? And then bury on his berry? Nice. That's two two shots, which might not seem like a lot, but that is a ton of damage. Yeah, that kind of swayed the tides of the matchup, it feels. And then we can go like this on his evil berry. And, like, look at that berry lineup was so critical to get us ahead in the chip the chip matchup. 
We're just going to go for an Evo Tesla, and then a berry of our own. He doesn't have poison and cycle, so he can't really do anything about it. We're going to go for a Goblin Joe in the back. Pressure at the front with guards, and if he perfectly defends this, he'll be okay. Yep, he placed the Valkyrie in front. That's why it's important to mix up your drill placements, people. That's why it is important to mix up your drill placements for that reason right there. So good game against Ant. Pretty easy win. We'll take the dub. Catch you in the next one. All right, up here against Cinema. Bonus game. I was having a lot of fun with this deck. Uh, so we're going to play one more game. Just one more game. I just like showing this deck off. We're going to go for our berry in the back. Like I said, if you have it in your starting hand for two elixir, it is undoubtedly the best starting play. Okay, we're going to go Goblin Drill in the front. Maybe get Barry to splash onto that knight. Maybe. 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 Nah, the knight is one tile back, but that's okay. We still get a teensy bit of chip. Oh, he's running Goblin Drill as well. Are we surprised? Nope. Yeah, I gave him a lot of poison value there. I didn't know what his big spell was, but I should have just assumed Goblin Drill meant poison. But other than the poison, we actually defended that flawlessly. Okay, so he's running Goblin Drill as well. It's like you're either running Beatdown or Goblin Drill in this meta. It's just the way that it goes. I'm going to switch lanes, though, because he already has like a little bit of a lead in this lane. Let's drop a giant skeleton. I can ignore that berry if uh, he leaves it unsupported, and we can go for a berry lineup onto his knight. And it'll force out something, but if he only has poison, I don't know if he can play anything on it, so we're going to... Okay, he goes for the Axie. Mm. Okay, I think berry like this will still hit the tower. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man, that is diabolical. Huge damage onto the tower. We're going to go like this and maybe activate our King Tower. Okay, we're going to pull over one of the goblins. Ooh. It was, it was like partially damaged, so it... We, we failed the King Tower activation, but that's okay. That would have been really helpful, though. Like, against Goblin Drill, it is very, very helpful um, to get King Tower activation, especially with the Dagger Duchess. Sometimes it can struggle with those types of, like, mini tank win conditions. Okay, so he has Evo Knight. Evo Knight's really threatening against the Dagger Duchess. It just eats all of her daggers. Okay, I'm tempted to poison. Okay, I'm going to poison this now because he played the Ghost. I wasn't going to poison it, but once he played the Ghost, I was like, okay, for sure. Okay, we're going to go like this. And then Giant Skeleton here. And for those of you that don't know, arrows don't kill guards. So our life is good. I can ignore that Ghost. It's in the opposite lane. Boy, Ficked. Boy, Ficked. Okay, he goes up for Executioner as well. So it looks like he's playing like almost the same deck as me, but he has Evo Knight instead of, um, well, and he has Ghost, so not not, a, not, a, not at all the same deck, but similar concept, right? I'll take the poison here, and we're going to officially switch into the lead, which is awesome. We are now leading in a match where we, we were losing. Okay, we're going to Giant Skeleton here, and if we catch the drill, I won't play anything else. Uh, we don't catch the drill. But I still don't want to give him poison value, so we're just going to let it go and get ready for a possible berry. He doesn't play it. Okay. Plays the XC. I'm going to go like this. Goes for arrows, so we go in for the guards, and we're going to poison onto the ghost. And that ghost is go 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 gone. Will be gone. Maybe you activate King Tower here with the Tesla. There we go. Free King Tower activation. Not free, though. It actually cost us some damage, but we do get the King Tower activated. Nice. He played the Evo Knight. He kind of, like, panicked. Oh, Axie, probably. Axie on the tower. Axie on the tower. Go, Axie. Go, Axie. Go. Go, Axie. Go, Axie. Go. Axie helping us creep back into the lead. Oh... Okay, it's going to be a close match. <sighs> okay. His cycle is a little quicker than ours, which is problematic. We're going to go like this. Try and get some cheese. Oh, yep, yeah, probably. Come on, Axie. Come on, Axie. I need you now tonight. I need you more than ever. No. Goes for arrows. I don't think it's going to be enough. King Tower maybe going to save us here. King Tower going to save us. King Tower going to save us. King Tower going to save us. Oh, can he get it down in time? Oh, okay, good game to that guy. He played really well. Honestly, he played well. I thought we were going to be able to steal the win, but that's a good, good last game. We'll go ahead and catch you in the outro.
that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Here is the deck one more time. In case you want to take a screenshot, I would highly recommend this deck uh, if you're tired of going against Giant Beatdown, Golem Beatdown, Lava Hound, all of those decks that are so prominent in the meta. This deck is a refreshing counter to all of them, and it's just really fun to play. It's a very strong deck that um, truly, truly does counter the meta. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you in another video real soon.